Hello guys, welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to handle the web table concept using Playwright TypeScript. I will also upload the Java video, so stay tuned. So let's make it very simple, and then probably we'll learn like how to uh, do the sortable table and also like how to do some arithmetic operation in a table. So let's go with the first one. This is going to be very simple actually. So here our use case scenario is basically like if the match if the last name matches like Raj, uh, we'll check this checkbox. Okay, so that's it very simple. And also we'll write the same with the help of reusable method. And I'm going to solve it in two ways. One is the traditional way of handling web table, like iterating through the rows and columns. And another way is the playwright, which is really going to be easy. Okay, so let's get started now. I hope you understood the scenario. Okay, so first of all, of course, we'll have this await page dot go to this particular page, and here we can see like we have multiple tables. So we have to find the appropriate table. So if I go and inspect this particular guy, and here you can see like we have header, and then we have this table. Okay, so here we got this ID called uh, tab simple table, and here you can see like um there are total number of tables like five tables are there and this is the table properties we can get that in the latex path here i'm going to just copy the css let me copy and here uh first of all let's store this like table equal to page dot locator and the locator value is this one okay now let's say that i want to print all my headers so within the table header i mean within the table i can see like i have a uh, tag called table head and within that i have trth okay so let's go and print it out so from the table i'm going to say like i want to find the locators of table head and within that i have like tr but of course we don't have to go with the tr uh, we can just go with the table head itself that is fine okay so let's name it like headers and i'm going to print the uh, values right so for that i can simply use like log await and then i can say like headers dot all text content okay so you remember we have the function called text content that will return the particular element text if i use all text content in the sense like it will give us the all the text available over there so i'm going to use this vs code extension from playwright to execute the test Okay. and here if i go to this console show output here you can select we got all the headers like first name last name email address present and absent we got in the array of course you can split or you can print using loop however you want to do it okay that's it very simple thing now let's understand how to get all the number of rows and columns so rows in the sense like this are row right so first name is one row uh, sorry first name is one column last name is one column and this is one this is one so we have like four columns and here we have row like this is header so we'll ignore that one so the actual data is like kaushik ashwant and iron so we have like three rows right so rows and columns of course it is available within the table body and within the table body we have like tr tr basically refers to the table row and table data in the sense like of course of course the column okay so here you can see like we have like four column and in the last column we have like input tag where we have this checkbox okay so let's see how to get the table rows and columns count so here i'm going to select from the table i want to locate all the table rows okay so that will return me the table rows okay so here i can select const rows equal to and if i want to print the uh, count of course the name is count right the function name is count so here i can say like await then followed by rows dot count that's it very simple thing similarly if i want to find for the column i can just uh, get the columns right but if i say like number of td that means it will count within the body we have like here we have like three four tds and within the next tr we have another four tds so it will give us like total number of tds but we want to find the column specific right so what we can do is we can just target like the header or probably we can just go with the 
from the rows we can get the column count that means so here i can say like from the rows first row we'll take the first row and from there i will find the locator of td that means it is going to give me all the columns okay now here again i can say like console.log and here i can give like columns count okay now let's go and execute the same so if you go to this particular guy and if you click this one you can see like we got like a uh, number of rows four and then we have column count of zero which is wrong let's see what we have done wrong so here row dot first so we have like how many rows okay so we are finding the tr right so if you go to the tr and here if you see within the body we have this tr and what we are targeting is we are targeting the table table is what table is the particular this one right so if i say like table okay let me give you in this way so we are in the table from there we are targeting the first tier right so within the first tier if you see we have only th that is table header uh, not from this one so from this one okay so here you can see this is the tier within the tier we have like table header we do not have the table data td is not there that's why we got this as zero okay so we can fix it in two ways either we can just change it like t head that is th table header that will give us like four count or else instead of like uh going through the entire table i can just go from the table body so for example here i can say like uh, t body that means the after the header we have this table body right so t body and from there we are finding all the tr from the body we are finding the first row that is this particular row and from there we are finding the tr td so in this case we will get like uh four let's confirm that one okay so here if i go to the output now you can see like we have like number of rows three and number of fours column in previously we got number of fours as four because we have considered the header as well but this time since we are navigating from the table body we are getting three which is correct okay so i hope you are able to understand why how we can get the number of rows and columns how this is going to help us in the sense like for example when we do some assertion let's say that we have um given like three numbers of data and we are expecting that to be in the format of table then of course we can get the rows and count and then we can just do the assertion okay and then what we are going to do is we are going to do this one so if the name is raj we are going to click on this checkbox right so let's see how to do that um okay we already we got the rows so from the rows i can say like rows dot and from the rows i'm going to do the filter and i'm expecting to has the locator of td at the same time also i am expecting to has a text called raj okay so if this is going to match it's going to return me the uh, name match from the name match i have to find for example let's say that we found this raj we found the name from the name i have to go to this particular checkbox right so here i will again find the locator which has tag called input and i will say like dot check which is used to check the radio inputs okay and of course here we have to use await because we are doing the action check okay so let's go and run this let's see if it's going to work or not okay and here you might have not seen it let me open the reporter so if i go to this playwright report folder 
reveal in explorer and if i go within the index.html you can probably see the snapshot like here let me open this in a big way yeah so here you can see like this has checked the raj okay so that's it very simple in playwright it's very simple like uh to find any elements within the table let me explain it one more time so here you can see like we have found the rows from the rows i know that there will be a locator of td a a uh, element and that should have the text like raj if that is there then from there i have to find the input box which is next to that particular row and then i can do the check action now i can just simply convert this into a function let's name it like uh, check input something like this and here we are passing the rows and columns but other than that i also like to pass my name which is going to be this guy okay that's it now here i will pass let's say that we want to pass uh we'll get we will pass all the three so first we'll go with raj and then we will pass the strategy yeah two is fine i guess okay and if you are using typescape probably you can just infer type that will give us like this okay so that's it pretty much cool now let's go and run this one more time i will scroll the page manually so that you can see the output which is really not necessary but just to show you that okay so here you can select like we clicked both the elements in case if you missed we can go and see the reporter one more time and here you can see like we got this raj as well as strategy okay that is how it's work this is the very easiest way to handle the web table concept okay but of course not every time we are going to check the input sometimes we have to get the data as well for example let's say that uh, here i found the raj and i want to find the corresponding in email id okay so you can also do that with the help of the same thing instead of like input we have to find the next td and then we have to get the text content but i will do that in a another way the traditional way of doing web table like finding the uh ray rows and then iterating all the stuff okay so you can use any way that's fine okay now here what we are going to do is we are going to do the same but in a different way okay so here first of all of course we are going to use the loop so let me create a for loop let it name it like i and here already we have the rows count so i can just simply uh use this one okay so always and then followed by rows dot count and okay so first of all we'll say like rows dot get off i mean not get off rows of nth and then i okay so here you can see like our row starts from the table body so we are ignoring the header which is absolutely fine okay and so we'll just get the first row so for example here i will get this entire first row from there i will check like if the last name that is my column number zero and one column number one is giving the text as raj or not okay so here i can say like const row equal to okay please remember this is rows all the rows and this is one particular row based on the i okay and then i can say like rows i mean row dot locator which is going to return me all the td and from the td i will let me store this so const uh, tds and from the tds i'm going to check okay i need another loop so that i can like we have four columns right so we have like first name last name email and present and absent so we need four columns so of course we can again use the loop concept here let me name it like j and here i can say like await tds dot count which will return me the count of tds of course i can use the like this calls dot count also but yeah same thing and here i'm going to check like tds of nth of j dot text content okay and this is going to return me the promise so await and i can enclose this within the f and here i'm looking for like raj 
okay so if the text contents is going to raj then what i have to do i have to click the corresponding checkbox right so here i can again say like um tds dot nth of i'm going to give the value this is the last one right so here i can i can actually use the last function so that is my last if you want to get the email you can just give like this is my zero this is my one this is my second so you can give like td nth of two okay and here i'm going to select like input uh not input i have to find the locator which is going to be input and then i'm going to do the check okay so yeah and here of course the await okay so let me print the email ad address as well so just for your reference i'm going to say like await then followed by tds dot nth this auto suggestion is not working okay so here it's in the third row that means two and here i'm going to retrieve the text so text content and that's it we are pretty much done okay now let me go and run this one more time okay so let me go and see the reporter i didn't see the check yeah so here you can see like we got this little guy and that is like yeah, of course we have checked the raj okay you can just go and select like uh give like different name and that will also work fine nothing big deal here okay so let me explain one more time this is very very simple actually so basically we are trying to find the number of rows from the rows we'll go and iterate through each and every column column is nothing but the td so from the td we'll just check uh, the text content if that match we'll click on the respective checkbox or if you want to do some other manipulation you can just get that and you can do it this is the traditional way of using selenium in selenium also we use the same concept like finding elements from the like finding parent and child element and this is the awesome way of using n playwright so we just have to go to the filter and then we have to do this one but while using filter make sure like all the names are unique if it's duplicate then it will give us like uh, uh, duplicate element found some error message we get often in play right right so we'll get that what was that i forgot so you can just grip like get like use the first nth or last you can do that and we have already used the same concept for our advance uh, drop down as well i'll just leave the card here probably you can go and check it out as well okay so that's it for this video i hope you are able to understand how to handle the web table concept in a easy way in the next video we'll also learn how to do some arithmetic operation for example here we have this table with some data and here we are getting the total right we'll do that see you in the next one very soon Tada, bye bye take care